It's taken many times for me to learn I know this garden's where I want to grow My life was like a seed of inhibition But now I feel like a flower in the sun Now the life I want to live has just begun My darling, I have dreamed of you forever I can't escape the truth of what I know It's taken many times for me a tumbling Oh, this garden's where I want to grow Welcome to Cyrus Homestead. I am Jen and Zach is behind the camera. Um, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm still a little sick, but I have so much zucchini that we have harvested and I showed you last time what I did with the bulk of the zucchini as I make zucchini bread and I freeze it. Well this time we're not feeling the greatest. We don't really want to spend a whole day making probably 20 loaves of bread. So we're gonna show a different way that we harvest our zucchini and preserve it for the winter time. So as you can see, this is a whole lot. And ideally, these are bigger than they should be, but we had a busy weekend and it just got away from us and it'll be fine. I've done it with them even bigger than this. So we don't care about the seeds. They don't bother us whatsoever. Um, if they do bother you, then you would probably want to harvest them when they're smaller. Um, not this big, but for us, it just doesn't matter. Um, we don't care about it too much. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But this is what you need. You need zucchini. Um, you don't need this much. Just a few if you want to freeze it, it's fine. You're going to need your gallon freezer bags. Um, I've got a cutting board and a bowl that I'm going to cut them up and put them into. You're gonna need um, at least one pot. I have two going because I have so much zucchini, but you're gonna need at least one pot of boiling water because we're gonna blanch these. So I'm gonna cut them up, I'm gonna blanch them, and then we're going to put them in, actually we're gonna put them in an ice bath. So we've got some ice water that we're gonna put in there. That's gonna cool them off and keep them from overcooking. And then we're gonna pre-freeze them on here. We're gonna put them onto these pans with parchment paper and we're gonna stick them in the freezer. That way they can dry, and then once they're done with that, we'll show you the rest of the process. But that's it for now, so let's go. All right, so my pots of water are boiling and I'm dropping zucchini all over the place trying to do this. But the first round is going in to the boiling water. All right, so they're both full. And you want to make sure the water comes back to a boil just so you make sure that you blanch everything through. And then once it comes back to a boil, we'll let it boil for about two minutes and then we'll take it out. Our first pot back there was a, it didn't have as much in it. So it's boiling, it's been boiling for two minutes. We're gonna turn that off and get that zucchini out. Right, so you can see that they're now in the ice bath. And we just leave them in there for a second. What this does is it prevents them, <coughs> excuse me, it prevents them from overcooking. And then we'll take them out. They're done in the ice bath, and I've already got some 
over here. This was the first round. So now we're putting the second round on these pans and I lined them with parchment paper. And then we'll pop them in the freezer. Now you get to see the messy or unorganized freezer. But as you can see, I have one, two, three very full trays that are gonna sit in this freezer now. For about an hour or two, I'm actually gonna go pick up our groceries and when I get back, we'll finish the process. All right, it's freezing. Another freezing time. Let's get these out and then I'll show you how to finish it. That process is not completely necessary. I have done it without this step, but it takes away some of that juice that you see that goes into the bags and then later on when you thaw it, um, it gets a little mushy. So it kind of helps with that and it helps them set up a little bit better and keeps them firm and takes out some of that moisture. So I like doing it. It's a nice little added step that doesn't really, you know, take that much more. Honestly, you can put it in the freezer, do a chore and forget about it and then come back and finish it. So. Now we're gonna get these into freezer bags and get them into their final freezing step. Okay, so Zach had to kind of break it up for me like ice and he broke it into little portions that I could put into freezer bags. And I'm gonna use this as one portion. This is about half full, almost. When it's thawed, it'll probably be only about a fourth full. So this is a good little portion for dinner or lunch for our family. And once this is frozen and I'm ready to use it, I can just pull it out, thaw it real quickly, put it in some water and cook it up, saute it. I can use it for zucchini bread. I can use it for anything that you would use regular zucchini for. And it keeps it fresh. It keeps it um, from the garden where I don't have to can it. This is just the easy way to preserve. and. This is one thing that we like to do with zucchini. So there it is. I'm going to fill up the rest of the bags. All right, y'all, they're done. So you saw the amount of zucchini I had, and that made 10 of these bags. So that's 10 meals right there that we can have a side of zucchini with, or we can make for lunch or use for zucchini bread. And this process is easy. Um, we're sick today. We've been sick for three days, and we still got it done. Um, we had to had to use it or it was going to go bad so this is a quick and easy way that you can do it even if you're sick um, it's not not a terrible process it's pretty easy um, it's quick and you can even like I said put it in the freezer and forget about it for a little while and then come back after you've rested and get it done so um, you can use the same exact process for squash which I'm probably going to do tomorrow because a friend gave me some squash um, you can use it for tomatoes, but it's a little bit different. I'm going to be doing that video coming soon because we have all kinds of tomatoes and we'll show that process. It's just a little extra added step, but um, it's very easy to do. And this stuff will last for up to a year in the freezer. After that, you can start worrying about, you know, the quality just not being as good or freezer burnt, stuff like that. So um, let me know if you do this, if you try it or if maybe you see this and it's your first time but this is one way that our family uses all that zucchini that comes from the garden because it's a lot so thank you all god bless you pray for us that we feel better and y'all have a wonderful rest of the week we'll talk to you soon love y'all